I got here uh, today. I would like to show you the softer side of the Pico Kark. I will today concentrate on the first version of the Pico Pie and the software we have currently available from, from uh, Clockwork and simply show you how to load the software and some quirks about the software. So let's get started. First of all, uh, we need to uh, put the Pico card or the Raspberry Pi Pico into boot mode before we connect it. If we connect it directly, the, this is this one, this one, then we'll get an error from Windows that he doesn't know it, so we must put it in bootloader mode. I will show you how. If you turn it around, you can see here the white knob or button and you need uh, some toothpick or some uh, small uh, thing to poke it in then you there you have also a noted, noted reset press it sometimes not that easy but Press it, hold it down, and then connect it. Then you hit here, beep, and now you can see it's already mounted as USB drive. You see these two files, and also you can see here it is connected. Now let's install a firmware. firmware. I take in this one that is start, uh, as default installed on the PicoPi. So let's install it to see how it looks like. So it will copy it. If it's finished copied, it will automatically disconnect. Now you get an error message in Windows, and yeah, you cannot disconnect it. And if you start it, you can see the Picomite version is now installed. Let's take a look into the basic and the Picomite stuff. So an important command is if you want to see what's on the installed, you have files press files you can the files currently you have the e drive this is the local storage from the pico pi and you can switch to the b drive this is then the sd card you simply put in drive then you have to do the high scores b uh, colon enter if you look here, you can see here you have some software like the Lawrence Bars, Mandelbrot, uh, and some Beef Diac Bars, the three basic files. Let's run uh, Lawrence. Should be a Lawrence bit extractor. Ah, once again, you need high score, uh, double high scores. Other quotation marks. Uh, dot pass. So, let's run it. So as you can see, it works fine. So if you want to see the source code, you can type in edit. There you have it. So you can activate the uh, syntax highlight. The command is option. Color, 
code, I put it off for demonstration purpose. Now go in edit. This is the default setting, it's green. And if I put it on, we can activate it again. You can see now I have the syntax hard cut. I have searched for some some other uh, MM basic software. I have found this gauntlet board. This is quite interesting. Ah, once again, if you change the directory, you also need the double quotes. This is this gauntlet version is a port for the Maximite 2 uh, version. So change. files so we see here yeah it's a basic program let's try to run it once again with quotes And you see, we get an error. Doesn't know the uh, hash character and include. So it seems it doesn't know include. If you look in the code, we see also we uses a lot include here for this uh, board. And I have also checked uh, the manual, and there should be a cmm run or load and. This is not supported in this version. So uh, I'm not sure how many MM basic stuff is here available currently for this big version. There is much more for MaxMite family. But let's see, maybe it will be more in future. So let's check out the next firmware. down there, let's see where is it. Here you have a manual, you find some information. So, let's continue. Let's install another software. Let's try the MP3 player. So, same procedure as before. Switch it around. Take something to poke the button, poke it, and put it. So now we once again are connected. As you can see, he's already in the boot modus. So we can simply drag the MP3 player. So, now it's done. Let's see what we have. So, here is the file. The bell lapse fine. That is already uh, delivered with the SD card. I have put another file on the SD card. So basically it plays, but uh, I have had some issues with my original mp3 file, I have to convert it to uh, 64 bits per second, 
so uh, you must convert it from as it will not work. So uh, speaker uh, workable, of course not, not, not the best one. Okay, I think it's only an example of, of, of the sound of this device. The MP3 player is maybe not intended for end user use. Okay, let's check the last software once again. Let's see in the future. Turn it around. Let's try the NES emulator. Put it here. Okay, it's now installed again. So, flashing is quite fast. Let's zoom in. So basically if you start up you see uh, the NES files you have installed. I have recognized if I like to try to start Ghosts and Goblins for example. You have, first of all, you have the AP select, AP select and all the buttons here in this row. So you press this then it starts. And that's all what I get. This ROM has 265k and I think this is too much for a typical version 1, so it will not load. I've checked some other examples, for example Tetris, this works because it's under 50 kilobytes or so and therefore it works better. So this will work. As you can see. This is the start button. You can see. This is the start button. So. Ah, start again. No. Yeah, but of course it works. So I'm not sure if this uh, uh, is uh, because of the older Pico with, with the lower RAM and if you have a higher one that is more possible, uh, I will test it in future. So that's all for today, I'm not a really Lisp expert and and I'm not sure how to install Futsik correctly. I think there is an image for uh, the disk utility. Uh, maybe I check it out, but uh, honestly, I'm waiting for uh, the Lyrefox this week. I hope I receive it also this week. And if I have the Lyrefox, I make an update. And also, I want to try the Pico Kark with uh, the second version of the Pico Pie and see how well it works.